Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here is my September TBR. If you hear dog crying, dog whining, that is Miss Winnie over there. We'll insert a picture. Um, I ended up rescuing Miss Winnie like a week ago and she's three and a half months old and trying to learn how to crate train. So when she does not potty outside, we go in the crate until you go potty outside. I'll be taking her out after this video to see if she potties again. <laughs> if she doesn't, she goes back in the kennel. If she does, she gets to play a little bit. So we're, we're doing a lot. <laughs> I live on the third floor. And so going up and down these stairs a bajillion times a day is exhausting, but it's okay because I love her. I love her so very much. Anyway, let's get into my September TBR. September is a favorite month of mine because it's, my birthday month and my birthday's on the 4th it's like right at the beginning of the month so i really wanted to pick out books that i think i'm gonna love even though my birthday's at like the beginning of the month whatever books i read at the beginning of the month like i'm gonna make sure those are like bangers you know anyway let's get into my tbr finally if you didn't know i go through like kind of like prompts and challenges for myself every single month so first i have our beam me up book club pick this is the book club i run with tiffany from tiff talks pages we run the beam me up book club and next month we are going to be reading the Orc and the Innkeeper. I saw this on my Kindle Unlimited Explore page and I just took a screenshot and sent it to Tiffany and I was like, uh, we need to read this right now, please. And we were like, uh, next month, next month we're reading that book. So it just came out in August and we are chomping at the bit to read this. We were both like, I don't know if we can wait that long to read it. So I don't know anything about it, literally nothing, but I love Innkeeper, looks cozy with orcs, like, yeah, that sounds right up my alley. For a book with disability representation, I have Interpreter by Christy Marie. This apparently has a tortured hero. It's an office standalone romance. And I believe one of the characters in here is deaf, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so our hero who is ex-military is deaf and both of our characters are co-teachers at a school which will be interesting interesting for me to read about because i used to be a teacher so sounds fun i've never heard anyone talk about this so i hope it's good next is to read a book from your kindle library i have bound to the basilisk and this one's been on my tv for a while i think i got it on a stuck your kindle day day and this cover definitely made me want to click it and get it for free so it's been sitting on my library for a while so let's let, let's read it we're getting into like the monster romance season even though i read them all year long we're really getting into that season though next is a book off of your physical tbr i picked a historical romance so this one is falling into bed with a duke by lorraine heath i've always been insanely jealous of this woman's dress like she is stunning. And here is a step back if you were curious. Another shot of the beautiful dress. So it looks like this one is about Minerva who has been unsuccessful to find a husband in six seasons. So she's kind of accepted the fact that she is going to be a spinster. So she is going to go to a Nightingale club to enjoy one night of pleasure. And when people go there, when ladies go there, they end up wearing a mask so no one can like figure out who they are. Then the sinfully Duke of Ashbury is more than willing to satisfy the secretive lady's desires and draws Minerva into an exquisite, increasingly intimate affair. Sounds interesting. I love a romance with a duke. Next is a historical romance. That could have been it, but actually we're going to be doing It Happened One Autumn. I'm actually doing a Wallflowers read along with a few ladies I will link down below. And we are reading this book this month, It Happened One Autumn on my channel. I believe the live show is on September 22nd, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but yeah, I just found the step back version. Like it is a little water damaged because it's crinkly, but I found this step back version at Half Price Books. Absolutely stunning. But I have already read this. This is going to be a reread for me. This whole series is a reread for me. I love these books so much. It's a whole series about four friends who are wallflowers and then finding the love of their life. This one is definitely hate to love um, with a very, very broody, grumpy man. Next is a Libby book. So basically a book that's coming in my Libby next month. I have many choices, but for this one, I picked Rebel Air by Vikeland and Penelope Ward. This is the first book in the Rush series. Oh, and it's also a duet, apparently. And it also takes place in the Hamptons. Interesting. I don't think I've ever read a book that takes place in the Hamptons. I don't really know what this book is about. It's very vague. I don't know, honestly, but I have read these two authors before, so I was like, why not? Place a hold on Libby. Sorry, y'all. I don't really talk about summaries because I don't really read summaries, so... <laughs> Next, I want to read a book from an author's backlist. So I have Forever Her Marquette, Mar 
Marquess, Marquess by uh, Scarlett Scott. This is the second book in the Duke's Most Wanted series, which these are like historical romance novellas that are on audio on my Libby. And I love Scarlett Scott. So I've got to read them. I've got to listen to them. And I believe this one's a fake engagement one. This The first one was really fun. So I'd also like to pick a book that continues on with a series. So I have Hating the Player by Rebecca Jenshack. This is the second book in her Campus Wallflower series. The audiobook will be coming in on my Libby. I did read book one um, a, a year or two ago. I believe our heroine loves like Jane Austen and stuff. And our hero is like a basketball player or something. So again, I know nothing about these. <laughs> Sorry. This next one, I saw the cover and was like, uh, yes, immediate, immediate yes. Um, this is Pole Position by Rebecca J. Caffrey. Caffrey. This is a hot enemies to lovers sports romance. L look at this cover. Just says red, white, and royal blue meets Formula One. I don't love red, white, and royal blue, the book at least. So we'll see about this, but like an MM sports romance? Yes, please. I'm so excited to listen to that one. Next is a hyped book. I have Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I just purchased this one from Half Price as well. Um, I read two Emily Henry books. I read her first two and I've kind of been like eh about reading more of them. Again, I have a really hard problem reading hyped books. I probably would not pick this up if I did not have a reason to. I'm trying to make more friends in the town I just moved to. I just moved to Austin and I'm, I'm trying to make more friends. And there is a book club in downtown halfway through the month and they're gonna read this book and I was like okay let's read it so we can make friends <laughs> so that's basically what I'm doing I don't know what this is about I don't want to know what it's about um but the audiobook hold is forever long and so I'm gonna have to read this book physically next month next is a 2024 new release I have Kirby Girl Summer by Danielle Allen my friend Zay from Witty Reads I love her so much I'll link her down below please go follow her okay I love her um she recommended this book to me a while ago she was listening to it and I was like oh my gosh you have to read this book apparently it has great plus size representation with like a heroine who loves every inch of her body and I was like okay say less and every other friend that has talked about this book loves it. I feel like it's a recipe for an amazing time. And my last prompt is to read an alien slash monster book. So I have Held by a Monster by Kenzie Kelly. Can we talk about this cover? Take a moment for the cover. The tagline says, on the run for my life, I stumbled into a monster. A bunch of sick, rich jerks take women no one will miss and set them loose to hunt in a twisted game. But they aren't the only monsters in the woods. Drim is a creature straight out of my worst nightmares, complete with horns, tail, and a killer physique. The beast who might just be the bodyguard I need to keep me safe from the men hurting me. I shouldn't be happy to cozy up with an apex predator, but he's one hell of a predator. And and that body made for killing is also pretty good at other things. <laughs> but my monster has trouble of his own. There's a lab full of mad scientists eager to reclaim their prized experiment. Our enemies plan to destroy us, take our freedom, our lives. They don't know. We're ready to burn down the world together. I want to read that right now. Like, honestly, top my TBR out of all of these, besides like the innkeeper orc one. <laughs> want to read both of those so badly there you have it those are books that i plan on reading in september again i'm really excited it's my birthday month so yeah let me know down below if you are interested in reading any of these also let me know if you will be participating in the beam me up book club tiffany and i are so excited for this book it looks so stinking good if you don't feel like commenting anything else you can leave me a birthday related emoji in the comment section down below because my birthday is so soon <laughs> i'm turning 26 y'all i'm turning 26 mm. <laughs> anyway i love y'all so much and i will see y'all soon in my next one bye y'all